Okay, so we're doing the uh, Shorai uh, battery install. Shorai power. Um, it's a lithium ion battery. It's got quite a bit more power um, than the stock battery. And you must be wondering, Phil, why the hell are you bothering upgrading your battery? The regular battery is more than powerful enough. What are you doing? Um, and the reality is that I am into ham radio and I actually want to power a ham radio uh, from my motorcycle battery. So I do want some extra power um, on my bike. So uh, this isn't uh, the reason why I did it, but um, it's also going to come with some weight savings. I was just curious about the weight difference. So here we've got the stock battery. And I don't know if you can see that, but it says 3335 grams. Oh, 3336 grams. And then the Shorai battery with the foam um, to make it the same height. Uh, we're looking at 1118 grams. So it's about like literally a third of the weight, um, but with quite a bit more power. And I'll do the math. I'll do the math and put it on the screen or something. Um, but here we can see that this is a 8 amp hour, um, should be like an AGM, yeah, sealed maintenance uh, AGM battery versus the new one, which is a uh, uh, 19 amp hour and it's uh, lithium ion, uh, sorry, lithium iron. Uh, so, uh, yeah, and so as you know, you can't fully use 100% of a uh, lead acid battery. Um, so just because this is 8 amp hour doesn't mean that you can get a full 8 amp hours out of it. Whereas with the lithium iron battery, you can use pretty much the entire thing. So, um, so I'll, I'll crunch the numbers and uh, yeah, so that's the wait for now. The battery removal, in case anybody's wondering, was pretty easy. Um, the battery actually comes in this rubber, um, gosh, I don't know, this rubber basket, um, which was just in here. And uh, that was actually the trickiest part because it's kind of uh, the rubber makes it difficult to pull out because it's it's like sticky. But yeah, you just pull off the um, positive negative, pull the basket out with the battery in it. And I just wiggled it out gently um, and that's it. The battery cover came off super easy. It's just right under your seat. Super easy to access. No worries there. And uh, yeah, the Shorai battery that I got LFX 19A4. Dash BS12 is a perfect fit. It fits really, really well. You can see um, the length is the same. The width is the same. Um, you can see here. It fits perfect. It's actually like a couple, maybe a millimeter smaller. So it's actually easier um, to install even. And then the height is almost the same. It's a little bit shorter but the battery comes with tons of like foam um as packing but then you can also use the foam to fill up the the space to make it the same height as your battery it's a little bit lower but i think this will be fine um i could put a little bit more foam if i need to just to make it no nah, i think that'll be good and uh yeah theoretically if you have other stuff you're adding then you can use some of that space savings and you know, maybe squeeze some more stuff inside your battery compartment because you don't have to get this battery. You can actually get um, an even smaller one that they have um, that will still have more power than your original battery, but will have even more space saving. So if you're planning on sh cr cramming a bunch of stuff in here, you could even go smaller. So, all right, that's it for now. Okay, so because uh, nothing goes as anticipated, I just want to show you my first snag. Not really a big deal, but one of the uh, positive terminals, uh, sorry, one of the positive leads has like this little um, angle on it. And on the regular battery, that's not a problem because it's uh, the terminals are quite short. So it just hugs up against it. But on the Shorai battery, because the, um, the bolt hole is a little bit forward, um, this isn't gonna fit. So. I'm going to go ahead and just bend that and take care of that problem. All right, so I installed the new battery. I'm showing 13.4 volts on the battery. I started the motorcycle, no problem. Uh, everything works just fine. 
I did have to reset the clock, uh, the date and time um, on the display. Some random tape is in here from the manufacturer, I guess. Uh, so this is what it looks like uh, fully done on the negative side. Uh, zero issues. There's like a, also a little detent on uh, like a little angle on this uh, contact, but no problems there installing it on the Shorai. Um, on the positive side, uh, I just bent it out with a pair of pliers. No problem there. And that's it all tucked away. And that's it. Um, yeah, works pretty good. Started up just fine. Very happy with that install. I'm very happy with the sizing. I'm glad that I didn't mess up and order the wrong size. Um, that's it. All right. Any questions, let me know. Bye.